So today is a video that I actually wasn't originally planning on making. Uh, after last year, we got one of these Zevo branded um, fly traps, essentially. Um, they don't use chemicals. They just use uh, a light source and a sticky pad to try to capture as many flies as they can by attracting them with the light and then they land on the surface that sticks and uh, that sticky pad surface is replaceable. Um, this year, we expanded in the bathroom and got the Raid brand one um, to try that out to see how well that compares. However, we've had, uh, af you know, in the middle of the summer, we, we always get fruit flies, but um, from our various food scraps pro programs that we do, all the vegetables we have coming in from the garden, we tend to get a lot of fruit flies. And this year, it seemed like it was worse than usual. So, I, we got two replacements. Actually, uh, the Zevo I actually replaced the day before the sticky pad because the last one was full. And so it does work, right? So I replaced the sticky pad. And the next day I was like, man, uh, we, we got the replacements for the raid. I stuck that in there. I'm like, you know what? Let's find out how well these actually work. So I used these red cups. This is kind of my control because this is back in the back room by, by itself without any piece by it. And then I had two of these apple cider vinegar with a couple drops of um, just uh, dish soap in them right next to the Zevo and Raid traps uh, to see what the difference is. You know, is there a difference? Are they attracted to both equally? Which one's going to pull more? And the results I actually are what I expected. So without further ado, let's talk about these traps. All right, hello and welcome back to Tech Gooch. And like I said, we're gonna take a peek at the Zevo fly trap, the Raid fly trap, and then of course, um, we're gonna look at the comparisons between them. Now the Zevo actually was out a day by itself without the apple cider vinegar anywhere near it. And uh, we didn't have any apple cider vinegar traps set up at that time. And so this one right here actually does have some uh, flies on it, right? Some fruit flies. Now I woke up the next day and there was, I would say the good majority of these were already here. And I was like, all right, but it's not capturing them fast enough because there was just a ton flying around in our kitchen. That's where we keep this one is in our kitchen near our sink. And this piece here is what's replaceable, right? This is a sticky surface that you slide back down in. And if you want to see how this looks, uh, essentially it just has a blue light source, right? A kind of a UV type light source that shines on the surface um, kind of glows around this. This does kind of block the glow. It glows from behind. So it, it you know, entices the fly to fly around and then land on the sticky surface and get stuck, right? And this will work with house flies. You can see there's a small house fly right there. And of course, fruit flies, any flying object. It doesn't use any attractants and there's no chemicals involved. So it is, you know, what you would say is safe for pets and kids and everything like that because it's just a sticky surface, right? And so that's the Zevo. Earlier this year, at the, in the spring, we got, we wanted to try out the difference between that and the Raid. Um, so Raid came out with this one, which I'll turn on as well, has this light source that kind of glows up this plastic um, see-through item. So from the front, you can see, uh, it's kind of bouncing around, um, but it doesn't do that. It's just loose, loose connection, I guess, with this. Um, but it glows this whole plate. And then behind that plate is this sticky pad. Now this one is two-sided. Now you can see maybe right away, there's no, there's no flies on this. It's been actually out for several days now. Um, but this one I put out at the same time that I put one of my red, my, uh, um, apple cider vinegar traps. Now these traps have never set one of these up. They're really stupidly simple. You know, you could take any cup, anything you want. It doesn't have to be a, a, a throwaway cup. Um, you put in some apple cider vinegar, however much you feel, you know, the more you put in, technically, maybe it'll last longer. And then you just put a couple drops of dish soap in there as well that kind of keeps them trapped once they land. And so this one was in the bathroom right next to this Raid fly trap. This one was in my kitchen right next to the Zevo fly trap. Um, so if you want to see, we'll start with the control. So this one was in my back room where we keep the, a lot of the vegetables from our garden. I'm going to go ahead and just remove this. So it's easier to see. And basically once you put that, that solution here, you cover it with plastic wrap or whatever and just poke holes in the top that are small enough for the, the fly to get in, but nowhere near the edge so they don't just crawl right back out. So it's, it's kind of hard for them to get back out. And as if you can see in there, it's kind of cloudy, 
but there's actually a decent amount of bugs in there. Um, I would argue substantially more, probably more than twice as more amount as actually was on this sticky pad. Now, let's look at this trap, which I set next to the Zevo one. After, like this one was running for a day, and then I put this next to it a couple, so this is, uh, I think three days now it's been sitting out. Um, and I wonder how well this is gonna see, but if you look in there, there are a lot of fruit flies in there. Now, of course, this trap is gonna, be, is gonna work great on fruit flies, not gonna work on house flies, right? Cause it, they're not, the holes are too small for them to get in here anyway. But there are, I would argue probably at least four or five times as many in here as there definitely are on this sticky pad. And of course this most, if not all of these came from before I put this out. So this does work, it just takes time. Right, it just takes time. But if you're gonna put this next to this, which one of the, are the fruit flies gonna uh, prefer to, to go towards? It, definitely the apple cider vinegar. Then we have the Raid, right? Which I, you've seen has nothing on it. And this has been out for a couple few days now at the same time I put this one out. Um, and so, oh, maybe there isn't as many fruit flies in the bathroom area. Well, there have been quite a few fruit flies in the bathroom area. And if you wanna see the results, there are a lot of fruit flies in this cup, a lot. So, um, you know how many, there's definitely, I would say there's more in the bathroom cup than there is in the kitchen cup, but the kitchen is also closest, closer to this, uh, our laundry room cup where we keep the, um, a lot of the vegetables. So these are closer to each other than this one. This one's kind of on the other uh, part of the house. That's the big, the big thing here. These fly traps, they do work, right? Um, if I had shown you the r r pad that we, before we replaced it, the original pad that was in here, that was up for months, to be honest. It was quite full on both sides. It, it, it did quite well. And if I asked my wife, uh, and I did ask my wife, which one of these do you kind of prefer? Um, you know, they, they operate the same. Uh, to be honest about it, she kind of preferred the Raid one just because it gives twice as much pad um, so it lasts longer before it fills up to the point where you have to replace it. Um, I can't say that one is substantially better than the other. They're, they are slightly different, obviously, but they are so close to each other. And uh, the results, I think, are so conclusive. If you're looking to get rid of fruit flies in your home, the best and most effective way, if not the cheapest way, is to just get a red Solo cup, throw some apple cider vinegar, throw a couple uh, drops of dish soap, cover it with um, some plastic wrap, poke some holes in it, put a rubber band around it, call it good. Because you're gonna capture way more fruit flies that way than you ever will catch with these, uh, these sticky on the wall fruit traps. Now, of course, this is apple cider vinegar with dish soap. So like if you have dogs and stuff, you gotta keep it out of the way so they don't get into it um, because then your trap goes away um, and you probably don't want them to drink this anyway. Um, so there is that to take into account. It is an, you, you should, you know, you may be able to smell it depending on your, your nasal capacity, I guess. And so there is that as well. It's not an unpleasant odor, um, but you know, there is all that. And then of course you'll have to deal with the aftermath of getting rid of all this, dumping this out, throw it, you know, whatever you're going to do, dumping it down the drain, um, and then refilling it. So you will have to do that more frequently than you probably will have to touch these. You'll just plug these in and let them go. However, upfront cost substantially cheaper, right? I just buy a bottle of apple cider vinegar, make sure I have dish soap, which I always do anyway, and maybe a couple red solo cups. You don't even have to use this. You could use a coffee mug or whatever you wanted to use. It's just a pint glass, any glass, um, because you don't have, you could use reusable ones. Um, and a rubber band, a couple rubber bands. You could tape it too. Um, so the cost up front is, is really cheap on this versus this. So upfront cost. So, and this is way more effective. And of course, long-term costs, once I buy that, buy that bottle of apple cider vinegar, it's going to probably last me all year, um, including using it for my own purposes. Whereas this, I have to pay electricity rates on, right? Because they use that light. Now it's not crazy expensive at all, but it is using electricity. So there is a constant um, cost to running these. So uh, in the end, save your money. These are whatever, 30 bucks out of, out of pocket for each of these. And then you have the refills, you know, I, you know, you have the electricity rates, but then the refill cartridges as well, way, way cheaper. 
So I, I, in our reality, I think it's I think it's twenty bucks for this and in one cartridge, and then you can buy replacement cartridges. You know, they come in like two packs or four packs, depending on how many you want. However, in all reality, would I recommend buying these? All depends on what flies, right? If you're also trying to capture other type of flying insects, um, like the like I said, I wish I would have had I would have saved the ones that we removed and threw away, um, because we were catching house flies, mosquitoes, other stuff on there. So it's not just fruit flies, right? But it does capture fruit flies, just nowhere near as effective as the apple cider vinegar process. However, this process is only going to be really usable for fruit flies. Everything else is it's not going to do much for. Um, so. Do they have their place? Yes, they do. But depending on the the, uh, the pest that you're trying to mitigate for, if it's fruit flies, just don't, right? Save your money, buy a bottle of apple cider vinegar, throw a cup out with that in there. It's way more effective. It's kind of crazy. I checked this uh, a couple times a day to see if it had any additional bugs land on it and see it stuck after the first day. And the only one that I noticed was that housefly. That was the only other bug that I noticed on here. We don't have a whole lot of houseflies in here right now, but yes, if I had shown you the, the ones that we removed from both of these to, to throw away to replace, there were a lot more houseflies and, and other insects on them other than the fruit flies. Um, so these are just way more effective for fruit flies. The other thing to mention is as well, um, in all reality, I'm not throwing these cups out. I'll dump them out, refill it with apple cider vinegar, go again. Even the plastic top, I'll probably just reuse the plastic top because it's just some small holes in there that I line, you know, just throw it over there in, in rubber band. I'm not throwing away the rubber band either. These, the waste, there's a lot more plastic waste. So that's something to, to consider as well because that's adding stuff to the landfill that really doesn't need to be added to the landfill, right? Um, if they could make, I, and I don't see a way for them to make it different, to make it more biodegradable, um, other than maybe changing it. I, 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 and I don't know how they would change it, but I'm just saying uh, sustainability, the apple cider vinegar wins in a landslide in, effect, in addition to uh, effectability. So, so that is a small video. Like I said, I wasn't planning on making this, but it kind of turned into a, wow, this is a little research thing that I really want to try out. And, and here's the, the results. Apple cider vinegar wins hands down when it comes to fruit flies. So thank you for watching to the very end of this video. I will put links in the description to both the Raid and the Zevo Trap if you want to take a peek at them, if nothing else. That way you at least get an idea of how much they cost um, if you're interested in adding one because maybe you, you're looking for fruit, uh, not just fruit flies, but house flies and other things as well. They are more effective than the, the apple cider vinegar for that uh, effect. So thanks for watching to the end. We'll catch you back here on TechHooch for another future video review. We'll see you soon.